师傅。long time no chat um welcome to my channel if you're new here thank you so much for stopping by i noticed since my last video which i think was like two weeks ago um there was there's been quite a few new subscribers so welcome to my channel um i'm angie angie silly crafts here on youtube and on instagram um this is a channel about cross stitch but sometimes i throw in some other crafts like diamond painting and crochet um i have a little bit of diamond painting today but not much it's mostly mostly cross stitch mostly full coverage cross stitch and yeah if you are coming back i don't even know what i'm saying there um sorry it, it's been a while it, it's been a week and it's been a while so anyways um if you've been here before this is all very familiar to you um Thank you for going back. I actually only have on my notes um, seven projects to show. So I'm hoping that this is like a really fast video. I know my last one, like I don't think I usually am less than an hour. So I'm hoping this is less than an hour for sure. Cause that's, there's only seven projects and I don't really have much else to talk about. Um, yeah, so well, we're gonna get started. Oh, right. So yeah, I it's been more than two weeks since my last video. I said I was gonna come back sooner, but sickness, my kids, they just, they get these winter colds that just last forever. And my youngest was home. I was gonna film on Tuesday and my youngest was home Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. He finally went home to school today. Um, he wasn't like super sick or anything. It was just, you know, just the, your winter cold, but he's got a runny nose and he's nine and they don't, their germs just everywhere and snot. And I'm like, you don't need to go and spread that. And also he had like that really squeaky voice, which is funny to me and entertaining, but to a classroom of kids, it, it probably would have been very distracting. He was in the shower the other night singing in his squeaky voice and me and my husband were like sitting beside each other and just laughing because it was really entertaining. But like I said, it, it would be a distraction to the other kids in the class. So he finally went today. He, um, yeah, I haven't gotten a phone call to come pick him up. So I guess he's fine. And yeah, let's just hope that nobody else gets sick, but I'll have this video up and ready. So and done. So y you guys won't have to worry about that. Um, <clears throat> all right, I'm going to start with my shout outs. I usually do that. I usually do Instagram and floss tube. Oh, and yeah, sorry. I I'm all over the place because I wasn't actually going to film today, but I knew if I didn't, that uh, it would be like another week or something. So I'm here. I'm just not really here. If you know what I mean, like I'll do my best. Um, so shout out for my floss tuber is the budget stitcher, Joss. I'm sure you guys know who she is. She doesn't do very much on floss tube anymore. She's more on rumble. She does like her weekly updates and her stitch and snitch. Yeah, I think that's what it is. Like her stitch with me. Um, that's all over on rumble, but she still does have her floss tube. She's taken down a lot of like, she's been doing this for a while, but she did take down a bunch of her videos but she's doing her monthly updates still on floss tube so go check her out she's working on a massive <laughs> tree skirt it's like a bedspread and she's starting a dimensions kit soon for her sunday stitch and um <laughs> she's working on some projects that are kind of giving her some grief but anyways you should go check her out and then my Instagram shout out is Mama Lou Stitches. Um, I will talk more about her later, but she has lots of full coverage and I've been watching her progress on one of her full coverages for quite a while. And it's because of her that I got a chart, but I'll show that to you later. And yeah, 
so you should go check those people out. I also want to thank Nina from, yeah, Nina Hobby Site, sorry. Um, she has lots of full coverage, but she shouted me out recently, so thank you, Nina. I've been watching her floss tube for a while. She, yeah, lots of Amy Stewart bookshelves. Um, Donna Gelsinger, pretty sure she's Donna Gelsinger. She might not. I don't know. She has lots of full coverage, though. Lots of beautiful projects. Um, and she's also doing the Fruits of Plenty um, piece from Modern Folk Embroidery, right? Yeah, she's doing that one. It's really pretty. So you should go check those people out. They're all great. All right. Yep. I, like I said, only worked on seven projects since I last made a video. And also, I'm only doing this for January. So if I've worked on anything in the last, what are we, the February 3rd today? I don't know why I always ask you guys expecting you to answer me. February 3rd, yes. Um, I'm not going to show anything that I've worked on in that amount of time because I don't, it doesn't matter. I'll show those in my next video. So this is just the rest of January and I worked on seven things. And the only reason that I only worked on seven things was because I had a start and a finish. <laughs> don't get all excited. It's not like a big, like, Full coverage finished by any means but um i think i mentioned it in my last video oh no i hadn't started it yet um i wanted to do a uh, pokemon for my son because his birthday was on the 21st of january so the week before his birthday i was like oh yeah i need to start that <laughs> well <laughs> i'm a procrastinator obviously and my kiddo was sick that week actually me and him were both sick Monday we both had weird random fevers and then Tuesday he was still sick so that took off two days that I was expecting to be able to stitch on this um yeah so <laughs> that kind of derailed me a little bit so for a whole the rest of the week I was working on this but I'll show it to you I did finish it and this is my little Dragonite it's his second favorite Pokemon. His favorite is Primeape, but I couldn't find a Primeape. And he was actually pretty happy with it. Um, <laughs> so the I finished it on his birthday. Like I didn't have it finished. I could I couldn't finish the, it the night before. There was there was still so much to do. Um, his birthday was on the Saturday. Between Friday and Saturday, I put in 1,095 stitches. That's that's a lot for me in two days. But so on his birthday, he had a party and um, they went sledding and then came back here for cake and played video games and whatnot. And it still wasn't done. So then him and his brother were like watching TV downstairs. So I quickly whipped it out and was trying to finish the last little bit. And then he decided to come upstairs and play video games on the couch, like across from me. <laughs> and so I kind of like have my knee up and a blanket kind of over top to hide <laughs> what I was stitching. And I was stitching across from him for... I don't know, like an hour. He had no idea what I was doing. And so that was funny. So by the time he went to bed, I had it finished. So it was still finished on his birthday. Um, he doesn't really get that excited about cross stitch. So I wasn't really, I was trying to um, make sure that I prepared myself for just kind of like a eh, whatever kind of response. But it wasn't, he was just like, oh, he's like, I really like that. I was like, oh, okay, well, I'll take that. <laughs> so now I just need to get him and his brothers. I need to um, put them in a hoop. Or, yeah, they both decided that they didn't want them as Christmas ornaments because they want them out all year long. So that's fine. Um, so, yeah, I just need to finish those off. I didn't get them fully finished because just getting the stitching done in time was... But I was like looking back at things and apparently I do this all the time. Like I finished their birthday gifts, whether it's a blanket or whatever I make for them, 
I finished it the night before their birthday. Like I, I have things that says, oh, I finished Lucas's blanket for his birthday tomorrow at midnight. So it's, sorry, <laughs> there's, there's a window in a road. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's pretty common of me. Anyways, there is my start and my finish. Um, oh, since this is the end of the month, I'm finishing wrapping up January, I will give you some January stats. So, like I said, I had the one finish, I have had the one new start, which I showed in my last video, but so one finish, one new start. My total stitches for January were 5,217. I stitched 26 out of 31 days and I average about 200 stitches per day. Now I know 5,217 doesn't seem like a lot because you guys stitch way more than that, but that's actually a really good stitching month for me. So, you know, I've watched a couple people lately in their floss two videos saying that they, they didn't think that they stitched very much and then they would have like a number twice as big as mine. So, um, you know, if you guys are ever feeling like you're not stitching enough, just shoot me a message on Instagram and say, hey, Angie, how much stitching have you gotten done? And chances are it's going to be less than 200 stitches. And then you can feel better about the amount that you stitched because, you know, that's just how much I stitch. It's not a lot, but it adds up and it's fine. I'm not complaining about it. I, it is what it is. Okay. And it's not because I don't have time. I'm just, I'm really slow stitcher, you guys. Like I, I can have all day to stitch and it would still only be like 200 stitches. So it's fine. All right, those are my stats. Let's get to some projects. Sorry, I have stuff. Okay. Um, okay, so because I only worked on seven projects, I have 20 whips right now, and I only worked on seven. One of them was a start and a finish, but that technically wasn't actually part of my 20 whips. I think that was 21, but don't tell. Um, <clears throat> so, um, I didn't work on a lot of things, which kind of makes me sad because I like all my projects and I didn't stitch on everything. But, uh, okay, I'm going to start with my coffee sloth. Sorry, I need to go back. My kid came home from, um, it was a church thing, but they were able to buy things. With, it, it's a club. And they, they earn, um, like, little shares for scripture verse memory and winning at games and things like that. Anyway, so he ha they had a store. And he came home and he had bought me with his shares this little frog because he said that I would love it. <laughs> it's like a little magnet. So I was thinking of like maybe making it into a needle minder, but probably not. I like it because it just clips on to, to open up where I am in my planner. So anyways, I thought that was cute because I do like it. He knows. All right, I am definitely rambly today, guys. It's like 13 minutes in. Okay, my sloth. I only worked on this one day in January. Oh, that's why, because my son, Lucas, the one who, uh, who was sick all this week, um, he wanted me to work on my, my coffee sloth. And he also wanted me he told me he wanted me to work on the words so that's what i did so um i'm really out of practice here coffee sloth by sheena pike heaven and earth designs this is what it will look like when it's done and for those who were wondering about this piece who have seen it before and I always tell you that it's retired it is no longer retired Sheena Pike is back with sorry hiccups um Sheena Pike is back with heaven and earth designs and I just saw today that you can get this chart again so there you go that's what it will look like this is what it looked like the last time you saw it 
And here it is now. So I just did those words before, well, just the black of it, the 310, because there is actually a lot of confetti in those words. You you wouldn't think so, but there's a bunch of a bunch more stitches that go around it. So this is on 16 count Ada that I got from Michaels. It's not gridded. So it was counting over. I mean, I didn't really have to count that far, but I still like counted multiple times to make sure that I was in the right spot. Um, I put the one day I put 207 stitches into that one. So like I said, about 200 stitches per day is like what I stitch. All right, there are so many. Oh, I have tell you what percentage I am at for coffee slots. That's the mini, by the way, too. I'm not sure if the mini is available or if it's just the regular one, but I am at 35.77% on coffee sloth. And I put it into my Stitch Pal, which is not usually very friendly to me, but this one I have like an end date, so it doesn't say that it's going to take me till like 2060 to finish it. Um, and my end date was actually, I was thinking of getting it done this year. And it tells me that I need to do about 54 stitches per day, which, I mean, I don't work on it every day, but it seems maybe doable. I don't know. It's in the back of my mind that maybe that'll be a finish this year. But yeah, so that's not too bad. Um, oh, I'm just gonna throw this in real quick. So my last video, I think I said that I was UFOing, I was quitting a project for now. Maybe someday I might go back to it. I don't know, but for now, I'm not working on it anymore, but I didn't have it with me and I didn't feel like pausing. So I have it this time. So this is the one that I am not working on right now. This is my UFO. It is a DMC kit. Uh, is it called Stargazer? Yeah, Stargazer Lily. It's really pretty. Like, I mean, I love, I love these lilies. I was making it for my mom, but I have a different project that <laughs> it's much smaller and doable. This one, it's, it's not full, full coverage because all this here isn't stitched, but it's, it's still a lot. I'll show you where I'm at, and then it's probably going to make me want to pick it up and work on it because I do have like, well, I'll just show you. So this is how much I have done. I think I started this in like 2015, so, you know, it's been hanging around for a while. Tape, taped edges, so that's the right way. Yeah, that's the right way. I don't know why I stopped working on it, but anyways, somebody was asking me about which one I was not working on anymore, so there you go. For whoever was wondering, that's the one that is no longer a whip, but I'm not getting rid of it. I'm just throwing it. Okay, so, ah, uh, yes. Yeah. Sorry, I get very distracted with that. Um, so my next one is Bird Garden, Mini Bird Garden. Mini Bird Garden by Amy Stewart, charted by Heaven and Earth Designs. Um, it is on 18 count, easy grid. Now the last time I showed this, I was very excited because I had my first page finish, right? Yes, yes. 
um, my very first Heaven and Earth design page finish, but also my first page finish on this one. Um, and I, for full coverage fanatics on Facebook, I had this as my challenge for a thousand stitches a month. I, I don't know what I was thinking, but I did it, so I guess it's okay this month. Um, and also, I couldn't participate in the 24-hour cross-stitch marathon thing because that was the same weekend as my son's birthday and I just didn't really think that it was going to happen. So the following weekend, um, Alicia from Adventures of Stitching, she couldn't do it either. So we decided that we were going to do a stitching weekend. The next weekend we were going to do it. Not a 24 hour thing because we didn't think we'd get that much stitching in, but we were just going to put like extra effort, stitch as much as we could that weekend. And Rainy Day Reads, um, <laughs> Rainy from Rainy Day Reads. Um, she joined us as well, and there was a bunch of other people that joined us along the way, but anyways, so I put in, I wanted to get, my goal was 600 stitches, um, and Bird Garden is, it's a lot of confetti, a lot, a lot, so 600 stitches in a weekend seemed like a good goal for me, so this is what it's going to look like when it's done. And this is what it looked like the last time you saw it. And here is what it looks like now. Nope, that's not going to work. Let's just do it like this. So, I... My 600 stitches were all in this area here. Um, the last time that I showed you this when I had the page finish. I said that I was going to start working on, uh, I was going to change the way I was stitching it because I didn't like leaving all those ninja stitches for last because then I just didn't really want to do it anymore. So I went back to working on the diagonal except I normally, this is all backwards to me, but usually I would be on this side of the page and work my diagonal this way but I didn't want to go all the way to the edge and then come back. So I just went to the edge of this page and started working the diagonal back this way. So, um, I hope that makes sense. It is beautiful and I had so much fun working on this. Um, yeah, it took me a long time to get those 600 stitches, but I got them. So this one this month got exactly 1,000 stitches. So I made my goal. Um, yeah, I, uh, I was also marathoning, uh, Gilmer Girls while I was, while I was stitching this. So I, I went through quite a few episodes and I caught up to Alicia from our, when we were doing the, the Gilmer Girls, um, stitch along in Jan- nope, this is January. Nope, this is February. Wow. In September, when we were watching the show and stitching our Gilmore Girls projects. Okay. Um, what percentage am I at? 13.35%. Yep. Yeah, so not bad. I don't have that one in Stitch Pal because I don't want to know how long it's going to take me. Okay, next up was my snow day project. I I only worked on it once. We we've had cold. Our weather has been all over the place, but we haven't hadn't been really getting a lot of actual snow, just cold weather. Sorry, that was loud. Um but then the last day of January and then into February, we have had snow. So, my Nomi's got pulled out. Um, this is a chart by Kaylee Pinstitch. Her website is thesewingshop.ca. 
And this is what it will look like when it's done. This is what it looked like the last time you saw it. And here it is now. So this was, I worked on this the same day as my sloth. And since Lucas wanted me to work on the words on the sloth, I thought it would be fun to come over here and work on the words for this one. I don't really have a certain way that I'm stitching this one. It's wherever, whatever I feel like stitching. So yeah, that was fun. Yeah, our weather, we, like this last weekend, um, we had, we were in like the pluses for a while. And then this last weekend we went back down to minus 28, 27, and it got really cold these last few days. No, it wasn't the weekend. Wednesday, Thursday. From the weekend, it started getting colder, but then we had our coldest day Wednesday or Thursday. It was like minus 28 again Celsius. Now we're back up to minus 11 today, so it's like spring out there. Anyways, so, but no, no fresh snow, so this one hasn't gotten pulled out this week. This couple last days. I can't talk, guys. Okay, so that was, oh, 80 stitches is all I got, because I just did like one length of thread per, per snow day. Um, okay, um, I pulled out my other Sheena Pike for one day. Uh, this is Daydream Sea Turtles by Sheena Pike, charted by Charting Creations. Um, it is on an 18 count easy grid, stitched two over one. This is what it looked like the last time you saw it. I only put in 171 stitches, but I couldn't go a whole month without working on this. This is what it looks like now. Um, yeah, I, I couldn't go a whole month without working on this. It's one of my favorite pieces. I absolutely love the colors. I love this little, this little turtle squirt. And I think what I was doing, um, I'm working across the pages like, Eventually, I would like to have all the pages outlined for some reason. And I had been going this way across the page line. And so I decided that I should probably go this way to, to outline the, the rest of these pages. So I think I just, I just pick the first symbol on the page line and then I stitch anything um, that's around it and then I just go back to the, the page line and so forth. So I think I worked right in this area here and maybe a little bit up there. So I don't know if you'll really be able to see a difference, but yep, that is my daydream sea turtles. Okay. Um, I think I said 171 stitches, so not a lot. Um, that one is at three point one zero percent. Okay. All right, so. Um, for this year, me and Alicia are doing a thing called Wheel of Stitches. So we have two wheels. One wheel has a bunch of uh, challenges, like a certain amount of stitches, certain amount of days. Um, there's even some that have percents on them. So I spin the wheel for the challenges, and then it picks the challenge for that, that month. And then um, she picks the project. I have another wheel that has all the, like I picked out 12 projects that I wanted for this challenge. And then she picks the challenge or the project that goes with the challenge. So for January, I'm forgetting that I've talked about this, but not everybody watches every video. So you kind of have to, to say it. So for, um, for January, it was 
three days and she picked my He Is Risen project. Yeah, I had showed you, I had worked on it in my last video. So three days, I would have liked to do more. And if I would have done, I got my three days done, but if I would have done an extra day, I could have, we're banking stitches and every, so if you do any stitches past what your challenge was for that particular project. So for instance, I needed three days on this project if I would have done it for a fourth day, any of those stitches, I could have banked. And for every 2,000 stitches we do, banked stitches, we get a new start. So, but I didn't bank any stitches. So I put in, <laughs> this is what it looked like the last time you saw it. This is from Pursuit of Happy Stitches on Etsy. It is on a 16 count, maybe. It's just some fabric that I got from Michael's. I don't really like this fabric. I, I, I don't not like like stiff fabric. Like I don't have a problem with this, but this stuff is just, I don't know. There's something about this fabric that just, it, it's not the best. Here's what it looked like the last time you saw it. So I added 314 stitches. This is what it looks like now. Um, I think all this is where I was working and maybe some over here, but I, it's progress. Like all of last, well, no, I started this in May of 2022 and I only had 318 stitches. So in three days I put 314 stitches in. So, you know, it's, it's good progress, but I'll definitely bring it out more in the year. It's not just like a once it's done for the challenge, it's done, done or anything. Uh. Oh, so many that I did not work on. It's kind of sad. Okay, my daily stitch for January was supposed to be my Singing Sparrow by Sweet Wing Studio. This is... No. Never mind. I can just show you the picture. Um, I did really good. I think my last video I had showed I did the first week I did daily stitches, my daily 30. And then with working on my son's project and everything, I dropped the ball and I didn't start doing daily until like the 28th of January again. So um, I worked on it eight, <laughs> eight times out of the 30 of 31 days. So not that impressive. Um, I only put in 447 stitches and this was supposed to be my daily, but I have also made this my daily now for February. So, and I've worked on it two days in February. I worked, well, I haven't worked on it today, but I worked on it too. So this has got a little bit more than just what I did in January. This is what it looked like the last time you saw it. Oh, no, I'm still... Oh. Okay, this is what it's going to look like when it's done. I'm making this for my parents. Well, I mean, I think I'm going to stitch it twice because I want it too, but I'm stitching it for them for their anniversary, which is in May. So I need to have this done for May. So that's what it looks like when it's done this is what it looks like the last time you saw it and here it is now um yesterday i finished up the the for carla because she was having having a hard time reading it when when, when there was no the there it, it was messing with her so i fixed it for her you're welcome carla um, yeah, so I'm pretty happy with this. There was something, well, I can't remember. It's so much smaller than, because this is on 16 count, 
16 count picture this plus Ren. Um, you're not really, I do this. You can't really see the color of it, but it's nice. Um, and so it's a little bit smaller on the 16 count, but I think it'll be okay. I feel like the, the bird should be like more, the sparrow should be bigger. Like it's maybe like too tiny, but I mean, the whole thing is going to be tiny. So I think it'll be fine proportion wise. My mom doesn't really put a whole lot on like her walls and stuff. So maybe having something a little bit smaller instead of this big, huge piece, she might be able to find room for it more so. So yeah, you, this will be coming out hopefully every day in February. I mean, if I got 447 stitches in just the eight days, should be, should be able to get more than that. Okay, dokie. And my last one. This was my my new year new start. So every Sunday a bunch of us are started this pattern. It is by Abraham Hunter. God shed his grace. Um yeah, there's a bunch of us doing it. Me, Alicia, Rachel, Amanda, Nikki, um, uh, Mama Carmen, Ladybug Jen, there's uh, Sarah started it. Yeah, there's a bunch of us. And it's, it, there were all, well, not all of us, but a, there's a bunch of different variations. I'm doing the medium and uh, some people, uh, Rachel's doing the cropped. Um, Nikki, I think, is doing the large. Yeah, there's just, it's, it's fun to watch everybody and where everybody is starting the project to. Why don't I show you what it's going to look like? This is what it's going to look like when it's done. And this is how much I had done the last time. This is also on 18 count, easy grid. I am, I did 867 stitches since the last time. Well, no, in January, so I don't, that's not since the last time you saw it, but in total in January, I did 867 stitches. Here is where I'm at now. I have been working with the same three colors for almost this whole time, except at the very bottom of this last diagonal, I finally got to add two new colors. One of them was just another gray that looked exactly like the other color. It's fine. And I also added like 930. So that's like, I don't know if you can see, but it's like a really, it's a little bit lighter, lighter blue kind of. But yeah, I th think I mean, you really, there's not really a whole lot going on right now. Um, it's not like solid block color, though. It's kind of like checkerboard on the like not checkerboard. I'm still moving around a lot, but I don't know if you can really see. But in person, it looks really pretty. <laughs> Isn't that the way it always is? Um, but yeah. This one, I mean, uh, everybody is leaving me in the dust, really. I think I'm not even at a percent, and a lot of people are at 2%, and even the people who are doing the large version are, like, at 2 to 3%. So, I'm not too worried about it. Um, I'm at 0.64%, and, I mean... It's, I only work on it on, I've only worked on it on Sundays, I think. But it seems like it's taking forever to get that first percent. And then it kind of dawned on me the other day, well, the reason is my, all my other projects, except for my turtle, are minis. And this is my biggest project, I think, that I have right now. So that's why it's taking so long to get 
through a percent. So there's that. It'll get done. But yeah, I'm enjoying that. I'm enjoying watching everybody's progress on it. It's it's a fun stitch. Oh, we use the hashtag God's Grace Sundays. And that's my that's my projects. Now I'm still at 40 minutes. It ugh, okay. Um Okay. So I wanted to say that so I want a giveaway from one stitch at a time tear from one stitch at a time um oh was her 500 sub giveaway I think and um I want to have an nurse design chart and I just told her just wait until they have a sale and then I gave her my wish list and I said you can pick the chart so that's what she did she picked this chart for me which is hot air balloon sunrise max color <laughs> by Lars Stewart. I think that's right. Um, this was a chart, uh, Mama Lou Stitches is stitching this one. And that is where I saw this chart and she was the one who enabled me to put it on my wish list. I'm excited for it. I'm a little nervous about the, the max color, but um, Laura from Stitching Colors, she just put out a floss tube. I'll have her linked below um and she finished she's doing the same one max color she just finished the first page a little bit more and it actually has like blocks of color so it might not be as bad as i think it will be i mean i say bad but the the overall look of the max colors is always really nice it's just sometimes it's a little hard stitching it um so yeah I'm excited about that. I'm not planning on starting it anytime soon. As long as I do not buy fabric, I will not be starting it. Um, if I buy fabric for it, it'll probably get started. So I'm going to hold off on buying fabric. I have fabric for, I need to buy fabric for a couple other ones that I want to start in March. Um, so plans. It's a new month. I didn't I didn't buy anything at the Heaven and Earth design sale, so that's good, but I'm I'm holding out for Sheena Pike's new one. But if they chart it, I think they will. The red panda, I want it. But anyways, I'm so rambly today. Um okay, February is a new spin for my wheel of stitches. So I <laughs> Uh, last month I got the three days, which I thought was pretty good, and this month I got 1,200 stitches, which is, I think, the most I have on my challenge wheel. So, 1,200 stitches, and Alicia picked my Bonded by the Rain mini color expansion. It's probably going to take me all month to get those 1,200 stitches, but that's fine. I'm excited about working on it. Um... Still in a hoop because I was working on it last night. I've this month so far I've put in 240, I think. I'll put up a picture of what it's gonna look like when it's done. And here, yeah, yeah. <laughs> here is where I am at. Um, I was laughing when I started doing these like oranges because it looked like I was stitching a whole new piece. Like the colors in here are gorgeous, but they're like over here, we've got like oranges and purples and, and over here I wasn't using any of those colors. So I was, um, yeah, this is the way I stitch guys. Um, I had to thread a lot in the last like 200 and 40 stitches that I've done this month so far um yeah so it, it was very 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 slow going but I I am enjoying it so this you will see um some pretty good progress for the month I think if I did my calculations right I can't promise that I did because math um I should probably be able to get like 
uh, another like 2%. So I should, by the end of the month, be at 5% on this one. So that is exciting to me. And I also used that one. That one worked for the full coverage fanatics for um, by the numbers and the color because the color's orange. I mean, I think I can use that one for like every color in the rainbow. Um, so and it was one thousand stitches. So at least this time I can put all three of the projects together. Yeah, and then so that's my February. That'll get lots of work and my stitch 30 daily is my sparrows and that's all I have planned for February I mean there's a whole bunch of stuff that I, I want to pull out that I didn't get any work on like my raccoons and my mountain landscape I didn't even touch that my nativity I didn't touch that this month so there's there's lots Lots that I want to do. Um, that's all I have written down on my notes. <laughs> so I guess that's all I wanted to say. I feel like I'm going to turn this off and then realize that there was way more that I wanted to talk about. But I don't think so. I'm under an hour. <laughs> um, I thought it would be like 30 minutes, but I'm under an hour. So I guess we'll take that. Well, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching my video. I know there are tons of floss tubers out there and great floss tubers that you could be spending your time with. So thanks for hanging out with me. Um, please comment down below if you have any questions. I will be happy to answer them for you. If you just want to say hi, I will say hi back. So if you don't want a response, I guess don't whatever I will respond back I like talking in the comments um if you're not following me on Instagram I'm Angie Silly Crafts over there I'm very active I yeah pretty much any time that I stitch something I post it even if it's a very very small amount and I think that's it I will try and be back in two weeks I, I don't know why I keep like I should just stop saying that because then I feel like I'm a liar when I don't come back in two weeks. I will see you when I see you. And um, have a good rest. No, have a good weekend. If I get this, uh, I bet this is Saturday by the time it's actually edited. But have a good rest of your weekend. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.